Thanks for stopping by the My Reader Minutes. If you're new here, welcome. To all my new subscribers, thank you for joining me on my journey. It's Libra season, y'all. And I think I said for my birthday, I just want people to shower with me with subscriptions and likes. I don't ask for any money. I don't want no cash app. I don't want anything, PayPal, nothing, just subscriptions and likes. Now, with that being said, let's get into the mess. Now, if you haven't heard, Calvin Hunter is raised his head again. And clearly, desperate times calls for desperate measures. Well, he has this idea that he can overturn his divorce. What? Why did he do that? Out? <laughs> During their divorce, I guess back in um, 1999, 2020, I think it was before COVID. Um, what they settled on, I think it was disclosed that Wendy was only, only had like $7 million and, assets and so forth and he got a portion of that right well he seems to think that she hid like 48 million dollars so now he can contest or go back for more if he can prove that she had this money hidden or whatever right but i don't know if i've ever heard of anybody overturning a divorce like why would you want to overturn the divorce so you could be married now i understood for him the reason being that he probably wanted to overturn the divorce was because maybe he thought he was going to be in charge of her finances and get rid of the, what do you call it? The, um, the conservatorship. I don't know if it's that easy. I mean, if her family can't get, conservatorship or, or or control of her financial situation why do you think an ex-husband would be able to just saying so ex-husband kevin hunter has demanded that their divorce be set aside as he claims that she fraudulently concealed 48 million dollars in their settlement the tv personality who is now 60, who went, who recently broke her silence on the Diddy X trafficking investigation, tied the knot with Hunter in 1999 until the divorce was finalized. Oh, they got the, married in 1999. Their divorce was finalized in January of 2020. Kevin's request to the courts comes after Wendy's guardian Sabrina Morisky or Morrissey asked that Hunter pay back 112000 in overpaid alimony earlier this year in April. In court documents obtained by the U.S. Sun on Wednesday, the producer asked the courts to vacate and set aside the divorce based on fraud, misrepresentation, and misconduct. When did he forget you? Did, did he had a baby on you? Y'all were married. Which I think you took him for adultery, right? I hope you took him for adultery. Because you could have proved that because it was a baby. Right? No. Misrepresentation. He misrepresented saying he was a faithful husband. What? That's that was the misrepresentation, the misconduct going out here having a whole baby on your wife of 20 years. He got a lot of nerve. Woo. Williams filed for divorce from Hunter in 2019 while citing irreconcilable differences. Damn it, Wendy. And at the time, her guardian submitted a Wells Fargo portfolio that alleged her total holdings was around seven point three million. I, mean, I can't. I don't. I never trusted that lady from Wells Fargo either. 
However, the star's close friend, Regina Schnell, that's the lady I think that lives out in California, um, turned in an affidavit that alleged as of 2022, Williams had $55 million in her accounts. Due to the affidavit, Kevin now claims that Wendy fraudulently concealed the additional $48 million in their divorce. Um, first of all, if Wendy was going through this rapid decline, because they kept it from us for a while that she was doing that. How, she might not remember that she had that much money. I mean, not all jokes aside, she might not remember, right? I'm just saying. Okay. However, in the response to Hunter's demand that the divorce be overturned, Wendy's guardian, Sabrina Morrissey, claimed that Kevin had been aware of all of the star's accounts. I cannot address what Regina, the lady in California, thinks she saw or heard what a third person thinks she heard or what the third person may or not have reported, Morse stated, per the U.S. Sun. In his papers, Kevin affirmably states that Wendy showed Regina her financial statements. Sabrina continued, Kevin was not there and has no personal knowledge of whether or not this interaction occurred. She also claimed that at the time of the former couple's divorce proceedings, Hunter was fully satisfied and understood the process and had consulted with professionals to be fully aware of the assets and his rights with regards to such assets. Morrissey then added, Wendy's ex-husband has absolutely no case to reopen the divorce proceedings. Well, I honestly don't think he has a case on the fact that he had a whole baby with another woman. While he was still married. What court would overturn a divorce? Because that's what sent Wendy over the edge. If she was already declining, that took her over the edge. He left. He was her sense of stability. She looked to him. Regardless if he was running around or not, she knew that he was around. But the fact that he went on and moved on and had a whole baby buying cars, buying houses around the corner, that did it. That did it. On top of the fact that she wasn't taking care of herself either, doing little this, little that, mixing it together, and, you know, there's that. But, yeah, so, no, Kevin got a lot of nerve. Regina turned in the affidavit David over the summer where she alleged she saw Wendy's Wells Fargo's bank statements, according to the U.S. Sun. The TV personality best friend also claimed that in July 2022, she had resided with the star. During that time, she claimed Williams had expressed a desire to look into additional financial endeavors for her estate, as well as specific, specifically, I'm sorry, yeah, specifically a possible change with her current financial institution. She also shared with me documents from Wells Fargo showing a commutative balance of nearly $55 million. Later that same year in December, Regina claimed that she had been invited to a meeting at the Bank of America with Wendy. Afterwards, she headed to the courthouse in the same vehicle with the TV host and her guardian, Sabrina Morrissey. However, Wendy's publicist soon alleged to overhearing a conversation with Morrissey claim there is no money in Wendy's accounts. Regina turned an affidavit in regards to Williams and Hunter's divorce proceedings. Kevin also questioned whether Morrissey, a New York-based attorney, is allowed to represent Williams in New Jersey. The judge gave Sabrina 21 days to prove she has authority to represent Wendy in the state of New Jersey per the U.S. Sun. In court documents, Hunter said Morrissey representing Wendy's is akin to practicing law without a license, as she is neither a barred attorney nor a guardian appointed by the New York, New Jersey court. Wendy and Kevin began, oh, we don't care when they started dating. Despite not having any prior television experience, Hunter became his wife's manager. I don't care about that either. Um, okay, so the divorce was finalized in January 2020, which was just two months before COVID-19 was deemed a pandemic. Yes. I remember it was before COVID. According to a lawsuit filed in Superior Court of New Jersey, Morrissey is demanding her ex Kevin Hunter pay back a total of a hundred and twelve thousand in alimony that was overpaid over the course of three months. 
But in a separate court response, Hunter demanded the former daytime talk show host pay him 23 months in back payments for spousal support from their divorce. He maintained she stopped paying him alimony before she was placed in the court-ordered guardianship, which oversees her finances and health, in May 2022. Morrissey contended Hunter was entitled to severance payments from Wendy if her yearly earned income exceeded a certain threshold. However, in the wake of her absence from hosting the Wendy Williams show, the entire last season, uh, Team Williams contend that Hunter no longer met the criteria outlined in the agreement and thus needs to repay the money overpaid to him that he received along with accrued interest. <laughs> Damn. I believe this was largely the result of the fact that the payments had been put on an auto function within her account, Morrissey claimed in the lawsuit. Her residuals income has been very small since 2021, nowhere near one half of her income in February of 2022 or in October of 2021. So, according to the legal files, Williams only received two payments after she left the show, a lump sum of $1,900 in February and $59 in January. I don't understand what that's about. But anywho, Calvin got a lot of nerve and he needs to go sit down somewhere. He's ridiculous. Okay, cut it out. Cut it out. Honestly, dude, like, are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me right now? He really believes that he is owed. And now he wants to return, overturn the divorce. He wants to be married. That shit. What's her name? Shanita? What is his girlfriend's name? Kevin Hunter girlfriend. What's her name? Sharina. Sharina Hudson. Sharina Hudson putting him up to this. Sounds like a Sharina plan to me. Calvin, kick rocks. Anywho, y'all. With that being said, please like share and subscribe again it is libra nation and it's my birthday month i'll be turning another year in eight days eight days anywho everyone be blessed peace